Pisces, hi. So uh, this is going to be a reading for June 15 through the 21st. And I'll take a look into your recent past, your uh, current energies and your immediate future. And then I'll close it off with a couple of cards from the universe for you. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Uh, let's take a look, Pisces. All right, so the overall energy for the reading, the Four of Wands, um, could be a marriage for some of you, could be a long-term commitment, could be just a celebration with people, you know, in your life. Um, excuse me. In your recent past, you get the Two of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups. All right, so there was a lot of confusion on how to do this, how to make this work. There's a connection here pretty powerful one and there's a lot of confusion around how do we do this how do we build this up together in the current situation you get the two of pentacles the queen of swords and the wheel of fortune uh there's something there's a, a decision you're making there's a um, there's that realization that you do know how to you, you have the answers to anything pretty much that's going on with you or around you uh the answers are pretty simple and i feel like a lot of the times we tend to complicate them and i feel like this is where you're finding yourself currently where you know what it is that you have to do you may be complicating the situation a little bit in terms of I'm going to do this and this and this and this when you only have to do this, you know? But that uh, that energy is changing here of let's complicate things. Uh, in your immediate future, you get the Ten of Cups, the Page of Swords and the Ace of Wands. How do I put this? This is like reaching for the stars and having only a car that's not able to fly to get you to the stars. You know, uh, you want happiness here. You want that big old forever and ever and ever after kind of situation. And the tools that you're using to get there are not helping you. Uh, even though you want that, you're using only 5% of your potential. Let's just put it that way. You know, if this is you, it could be the person you're dealing with. So, um, let's clarify. Let me clarify the Four of Wands. The High Priestess, the King of Wands, and the Queen of Swords. Yeah, I mean... When you go within, you know who you are, you know who they are. You know how you both contribute to this connection, to this marriage. Again, it could be. Or long-term commitment that the two of you have going on. You know what they bring into the table, you know what you bring into the table. But only when you go within. When you start thinking about it too much, you lose sight of that. You lose track. Uh, let's do the Two of Swords in the recent past. The Five of Swords, the Chariot, and the Lovers. Yeah, you didn't know how to... Um, 
how to go along with what it was that you felt. So you felt this intense kind of love towards this person. But again, it's like uh, the tools that you were using, they didn't match. They weren't helping. So in whichever way you were coming at it, it didn't align with how you truly felt. There's deception here, there's sabotage, there's a whole lot of things that might have happened that got you into this place of, uh, what do I do now? You know? Um, let's do the Six of Cups. You get the Emperor, the Four of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. Yeah, this is you not letting this connection go. So that was out of question, letting this connection go. However, how you wanted to make it work, that was uh, problematic here. That was where you were stuck, you know? Let's do the Two of Pentacles in the current situation. You get the Eight of Cups, the Death card, and the Five of Wands. It almost feels like you don't want to contribute to this at all. Like the work that you were putting in before right now, it's like, uh, I'm not even going to do that anymore. You know, I'm not even going to try anymore. And it's creating a lot of conflict here in the situation. Um, you're probably not even doing it willingly. I feel like you're not even recognizing that you're doing that where you're not really putting in the effort anymore into this not in the way that you used to, and that's creating conflict between the two of you. Let me clarify the Queen of Swords for the current situation. You get the Fool, the Hermit, and the Eight of Swords. By you turning your back, by you really... Because uh, it, it, it kind of looks like you're you're tired of thinking about ways to make this work. So you gave it up completely. You gave up your contribution to it completely. And that makes you act or look cold and detached, like you don't want this anymore. When deep down, you do want this. You do want this, you want to get yourself in there and just not think about consequences, not think about nothing, just go with it because it feels good. However, again, this path that you took of getting yourself out of it actually places you in your mind a lot and it's creating more confusion than anything. Let me clarify the, for, uh, the Wheel of Fortune. The sun, the eight of pentacles, and the star. So this is uh, an energy of you coming to... All of this that you've done so far is not... It's keeping you off track. It's it's distracting you from what's important to you. It's, it's taken away from you more than it's given anything to you. Um, so I feel like something's changing in your energy, in the way you're starting to view things, in the way you're starting to understand certain things. Like, I have a goal. I have to work in order for me to get to achieve this goal, right? So that actually kind of changes within you. There's something, there's some sort of a click there for you. And it's creating this shift in energy and this change, powerful change, that's going to make you um, go towards happiness, towards what it is that you're wishing for, and understanding that you can make that come true. Let me clarify the Ten of Cups in the immediate future. You get the Seven of Cups, the Seven of Wands, and the Six of Swords. You're not going to be anybody's option. You're not going to be, you're finding your self-worth, you know, you're finding your powers, what you can do. And from this, you're actually detaching yourself from anything or anyone that says you're just an option. You're no good because you know you're good, you know. Um, let's clarify the Page of Swords.
for the immediate future. You get the Judgment card, the Six of Cups, and the Ace of Swords. Yeah, the situation here that you've been dealing with that placed you on this path of I don't even want to think about it anymore, it's going to come back to you. Uh, it's going to call you back. Um, the energy of this, which could be another person that you're going to feel like you're going to have to take some sort of action towards this situation. And I feel like you're going to do it because you're going to feel pressure to you're going to feel the um, universe kind of pressuring, pressuring you to take action towards this. It's not the universe. It's your mind. You're slipping back into what you think you should do. Let me clarify the Ace of Wands. You get the Page of Wands, the Three of Wands, and the Ten of Wands. Yeah, so I feel like you're going to take action towards something. And um, while waiting for the results, you know, to see what happens, that's going to create a lot of... Um, the more you wait, the more it's going to feel heavy for you. It's going to feel like, oh my God, come on already. I need an answer to this. You know, because I do see you taking action towards something or someone. Um, to me, it feels more like towards something. Um, could be business, could be anything. But whatever the case. And I feel like you're going to do something and you're going to wait for a result. And the waiting part is going to get you a little eh. So let's see what the universe has for you. The Hermit, the Five of Wands, and the Ace of Swords. Uh, do not fall to the pressure do not i feel like you're hearing possibly a lot of opinions a lot of on what you should do and that's going to lead you to take action instead of going within this actually came out in reverse the hermit which is telling me you're not going within because that's where the answer is instead you're listening to outside people <clears throat> opinions that are telling you hey you should do this in this way that's, I mean, you have an opinion and it's here. It's not in here. So you came out like this. Make sure you reverse this and go within. That's where you have the answer, not what others are telling you, you know, to do. None of their business. You have the answers within you. Stop looking outside for the answers. So, Pisces, that's what I have for you. Hope this helped and I'll see you next time.